Hi there, in this video, we are going to look at how to design a school logo. Somebody requested for me to work on logo designs and this is going to be the start. But from now, you are going to see more of logo designs. Normally, I don't use Photoshop for logo design, but for the purpose of this class, I'm going to use Photoshop to do something small for all of us to get started working on logos. All right. My name is Solomon, a graphic designer, and if you guys want to see more videos from me, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that if I put up a new video, you are going to be the first person to get notified. So with the logo design, we will start by using A4. With the A4 document open for you, we are going to start with the base, and with the base, you will start using the ellipse tool. So Normally, school logos are designed with circle. I don't really know the reason, but that's what they normally do. So you will use a color like this, a blue, a deep blue color like this. And this is going to be the base for the design. So what I'm going to do with this one is that I'm going to make a duplicate, Control G, Control G to make a duplicate. Then I'm going to make this one a little smaller. Then from here with the first ellipse selected, Click on the shapes tool and you are going to get these options at the top. Then I'm going to turn this one to blue color. And with a stroke, I'm going to turn this one to, and let's say, let's use the same color. So I'm, I'll select that same color and I'll change the pixels to maybe 10. 10 pixels. 10 pixels is too small. Let me increase to maybe 20. All right. So this is going to be it. And what I will do next is that I'm going to select this one. And with the help of my test tool, I'm going to rise on the edge of this one. So I will click once on the document. Or you can see that, let me do it again. You can see that um, when I select the ellipse and I select the test tool and I bring my test over here you can see i can just click once and type here but that's not what we are looking for we want to write on the path so when i bring this one close to the path you can see i can now write e you can see the test layout has changed which means i can write on the path so i'll click over there and you can see that the test is already around the whole edge so i'll just replace with mine in this case, I'm going to use this name as a case study piece on Ed Academy. Then Control A to select all of them, and I'm going to increase the size of this. Okay, then I'll change the color to let's say this one, and the font I'll use Rex Sans, but let me change this one to caps okay so from here i would like to change this one to bold i want the test to stand out and i think the spacing is okay so from here i'll click on the mark here to accept changes and i would like to center this one so what i can do to center this is that i can select my path and when i come here and i drag over it you can see it is trying to center but when you move inside it will bring the test inside when you come here it will bring the test outside so you just wedge and you drag the test to where you want it to be the other option that you can do this is that with a test selected with a test layer selected control t for free transform and i think you can use the rotate tool to transform this yeah it worked so you use the rotate tool to transform this and it's going to turn according to your preference for you all right so let me turn this one a little turn it small then click on ok you see it did turn yeah but you can see this is the line the this one is here so let me try to do it again enter and you can see we are almost there so this one really works then from here i'll select the test layer 
and I'm going to click on Ctrl T and I'm going to bring this one down. So I'll bring it down over here. Click on OK to accept changes so that so this one is going to come in between the two circles. All right, so you can see how powerful and how very cool this one is. Then from here, we'll reduce the size of this one a bit. So come closer, come closer. All right, so this is our first test and we have to write another test here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select this same shape and select my test tool again. And I'm going to, this time around, I'm going to bring the test here. So I want the test to come inside. So what I will do is that I will select my path tool and I'm going to bring this one inside. Okay. All right. And the test will start somewhere here. So from here, I'll select my test tool again. Select this. Control is to select all day. I'm going to start typing the name. So this is going to be the Amoto. I think it is with the head and with the brain. So control A to select part of them and I'll change this one to medium. Okay. Then from here, what I would like to do is to go to select my path to and I'm going to try to bring this one down over here. So you see how I'm moving this one around. Okay. Then let me reduce the size. It seems that the size is too much. So let me reduce it to maybe 35. Still, so let me make it simple like 30. It's still then let me reduce the spacing. So let me bring it to maybe negative 40. Okay. Negative 20 is going to work. So from here, I'll select my path to again, and I'm going to try to move this one now. All right, so from here, let's use the rotate to so control T for free transform and rotate this one. So click on enter. Let's see. So you can see the test is also still too much. I think I, I left it at 30. So why is it still coming to here? leave this one at minus 40 control t for free transform and i'll still rotate this one a bit okay all right so something like this always works fine then control t and i'm going to make this one small when you are done with any changes make sure you click on the enter to accept changes all right, something like this is okay, but I will still want to bring this one little in. Okay, enter to accept changes. Okay, but I would like to bring the spacing of this one down to maybe, yeah, minus 40 minus 60 okay something like this is okay and this one to minus 60 minus 60 is supposed to work then let me change this one to 40 all right so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get a space here so that i can put something like stars or anything that will work for that matter so let me increase this one just a little just little 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 and please if you are enjoying this class please make sure you subscribe to the channel and please also don't forget to leave this video a like 
what does that for this channel is that it help the channel grow you want to grow this channel that's why we are always trying to make you good content all right so from here we are almost done with the design what's left for us is that i'm going to go to my shapes tool so i'll go to window and i'm going to see or i'm going to search for shapes and with the shapes i'll go to i'll go all the way let me increase this one and i think i want something like stars so stars crap so stars i think i can use the polygon to create stars but i i think we should have some over here so stars nature nature we have i think we have nature over here so let me search for nature do we have stars over here and hey, we don't have stars at nature so where should it be objects ornaments shapes all right so let's use this one this star this star okay i think let's go for this then i'll zoom in and i'm going to make this one small then i'll make a copy and i'm going to make this one very small okay and i'm going to make a copy again and i'm going to bring this on over here all right so from here i will select all the three stars and then i'll make this one a little smaller and then i'll change the color from deep blue to yellow All right, so from here, I'll select both of them, all the three, and I'm going to make a copy to the other side. Hold down the shift key to keep it in a straight line. Control G into group, then Control T for free transform. Right click, and I'm going to flip it. And boom, you see, we have it also over here. So you can see how easily we were able to create this then from here i'll go to the internet and i'm going to search for something like book and a pen so i'm going to put something like this or this in so i have already downloaded this so let me go here then downloads so let me use this one Okay, let me use this one. Let me use this one. Then I will leave this one into a new document. So a new document is open. Then afterwards, I'm going to select my quick selection tool. So we, we just want to make a quick selection around this. Please, please, if you're enjoying this class, make sure you leave this video a like and also comment in the comment section what you want to see next and please and please we will try our best to go by your wishes all right i think somebody have requested that we should make a church flyer that's a fire something something church flyer please i haven't forgot about it i'll soon drop a video on that for you guys all right all right so from here what i would like to do is that i'm going to invert the selection so i'll hold down my Control plus shift so it's going to invert and only select the shape Control J to make a copy and then we, we have the shape so I'll move this one to our logo that we are creating and this one is going to be somewhere here so this is it then from here I'm going to FX click on that and you will see color overlay click on that 
and we are going to apply a color overlay to it so we can choose white but i would like to go for the yellow color type that we went for so basically this is how you can create a cool logo design in adobe photoshop adobe photoshop is not basically for logo design normally i use this software called adobe illustrator and i'll start making videos on how you can get started using this software you can see it over here adobe illustrator it always makes my work very easy whenever i'm working on logos or something of that nature especially vectors and stuff this is a cool software for that purposes so this is the end of this class for today and please if you want to see more videos on logo designs let me know in the comment section and i'm going to drop more videos on this thank you very much for watching all the way from beginning to the end we love you please check your screen the two videos we've picked for you to enjoy next